A few hours later, I'm gonna head out for a late lunch break because I didn't pack anything today. I really need to get a fridge in here so that I could just have like yogurt and whatever else. I'm so hungry. Uh, I painted this other little guy. Let's show you. Er. And I forgot my book at home too, so I'm just gonna kind of stare into space. I could kind of use my eyes not focusing intently on something for an hour. Serendipitously, my friend Chris called me, so I kind of was just on the phone with him the whole time during lunch, having um, a chill time, like listening to one of the people I love conversing with the most. And I just want to say, reiterate here, happy belated birthday to you, Chris. I miss you so much, and I can't wait to see you again. I just, yeah, I love you. <laughs> I'm walking back to the studio, and it's raining, and Chris is the one that has taught me to really enjoy um, shitty weather like this like he delights in this kind of weather so no good for you no good for me man I don't look super put together but I'm heading out to dinner this is look. Huh. As if suddenly I'm much more put together looking. Painting for like six hours. It's actually really tiring. My body is needing to get into shape. I stand most of the time because I think it actually helps my movements, but I sat for the last hour because ouch. <laughs> I think I'm done for the day, so I'm going to dinner and then that's it. I'm very excited because my friend Henna is inviting me to this place. It's like a, I don't know, free food? Yay! <laughs>
put whatever you have to do later on hold. This is time that we've carved out for ourselves to connect back inward, to pay attention to how we move today to receive the nourishment that comes when we take this time for ourselves to breathe, to move for the brain, the body. And stay open to any joy that you might feel, any comfort, any support. I am 100% totally here to support you on this journey. to receiving that support, the comfort, the joy. Good morning. It's like one minute away from 7 a.m., which is when the Kitty's auto feeder goes off. This is one of the best purchases that I invested in this summer because now that I don't work from home most of the time, I don't ever have to worry about them missing or delaying their meal times just because I'm like working long. So I actually have a link below. Of all the ones I've looked at, this is like actually aesthetically pleasing because a lot of them, most of them are ugly and I just cannot live with that personally. Um, and it also has uh, an app that accompanies it that is like great. So yeah, that's what I've always recommended to people who are looking for them. So you'll see it go off and I actually recorded my voice. So it's a little bit creepy, but that's how they know in real time. So this morning I actually meditated for half an hour in bed. I've been struggling with insomnia for the first time in years and it would just mean that like maybe at 3 or 4 a.m. I would wake up for like two hours and I just never really struggled with sleeping through the night in the past. Even if I would wake up really early and like only have six or seven hours, I just never had that in the middle wide awake with anxiety, insomnia ever since like, <laughs> ever since I was like a teenager <laughs> and uh, it could be because I've been a little bit behind on my self-care routines. Like, I haven't been as diligent about going to bed on time or unwinding. Like, I would, like, watch TV or play Crossy Road, which is this phone game that I'm, like, addicted to now. <laughs> like, I would play it for, like, two, three hours and then be like, okay, I really need to go take a shower. So I just feel like that stimulation could be partly the reason why I... Yeah, I really want to take care of myself because I do think that like sleep is really underrated especially for people in my age range and um, by the way, I think it's so cute how Bambi and Prairie always eat in the same station because I trained them that way when I used to feed them manually um, I had a couple of thoughts to share so for meditation I actually started more seriously meditating with um, guidance like through apps and those kinds of just like content and it was helpful and it was like actually like last July or August so it's kind of been a year since I've like considered myself someone who tries to meditate regularly and it definitely has been a journey because I was really initially really excited but then like in after four months I think it kind of faltered because I began to see it as like an achievement that I had to be perfect about and that's where I feel like it defeats the actual purpose of it. So if you're not really familiar with what meditation is, it's like just a chance for you to clear your mind and I see it as a way to give yourself permission to 
honor and value who you are no matter what might define your current state like you might think that you have all of these responsibilities or you're behind on something or you don't deserve to like take that that moment because you're currently not performing as well in your job or in your relationship or just in any role that you feel like you should be doing better i think like a lot of times where the self-abandonment happens is that we just feel like we need to be on the go and hustle relentlessly because we're like trying to make up for something and we're trying to prove something to ourselves and then kind of like having this belief of i will love you or i will value you once you get this done and i try to do it for 30 minutes because in the past i started at like five and then 15 and 20 was honestly the longest i've ever done but the book that I'm reading that I shared with you in the last vlog really recommended trying to do a minimum of 30 because he said that it really takes 15 to even get warmed up, which is, it does make sense to me because when I do other things like exercise, like it wouldn't really make sense for me to do something for like two minutes or five minutes because or like paint, right? Like if I'm like sitting down to paint and I put all that energy into setting my palette and it's gonna take also energy to wash and clean all of this and it's like definitely like a more difficult material to work with and clean. So I'm like, why would I not dedicate at least two hours to this? So today I'm gonna go to studio and can't wait to share with you what I've been working on. <laughs> the other thing about like habit forming because I, I read Atomic Habits by James Clear and that's when I actually constructed this entire morning routine that I follow. Um, and habit stacking means that once you do one thing, the next habit is triggered by the end of that action. So when I wake up, I'm always thirsty, so I drink water. As soon as I finish, I have to do yoga and that's how I habit stack. And then after that, um, which I look forward to a lot. I get to make myself a latte. So finishing yoga, I make myself a latte. And after I complete making the latte, I work on my Patreon cartoon for the day. So it's like my daily art practice, like getting my brain warmed up. Today's idea was what if Bambi went to college and he forgot because it's like just began. And he's like, oh yeah. You can stay here with me forever. <laughs> Look at this. I set up a little thumbnail stage. Imagine you're a tiny miniature person and all of these paintings are walls. So this is the painting I was working on in the last video and it's pretty much finished. And I was inspired because I was leaving my house and Bambi was sitting on the stool next to my laundry that was air drying and it's just like the mixture of colors and patterns. I think next to him was like an empty packaging and I thought like okay I should probably replace that with any object. I was just going to paint something like a tiny house or um, something like again like kind of unrealistic and dreamy. And then Prairie sat in a shoebox because I bought new shoes last week and that as I was like working on the piece I suddenly thought like oh my god I want to put Prairie in a shoebox next to Bambi and as I was sketching it out it just turned from a shoebox into a cocktail glass because I wanted to like extend it beyond um, that frame and it ended up being really funny and cute and almost kind of like she seems like she's in a dog house or something and like she's so much smaller it just seems like this piece is about favoritism um i wanted to redeem myself because i worked on another imaginary landscape piece and this is based off of a digital sketch and prairie and bambi were both in it but i gave prairie the stage front and center <laughs> And look at this sweatshirt that I put on. It's like my apron. I was the president of the art club in high school and this was our fundraising shirt that I designed. And for the longest time now, if you're a long time viewer, you probably have recognized this, this you know, for all of the years I've had it. 
and I've been saying and entertaining the idea of actually like designing one to sell because it's just really simple and cute and art is in the heart. In the meantime, I still have my yellow sweatshirt, my yellow kitty cat sweatshirt for sale. Some other exciting stuff going on. My sister is in town just for two days and she's spending most of it with her bestie. And I will see her tonight though. I believe, yeah, wait. 